the pastor's discretionary fund has always been something that's always been there. Everybody has different things going on in their lives and different, thing ha different things happening in their lives. Some things we just plain don't plan on. It's not our fault. But I'm thankful that I work for a place that can help. A lot of the needs that we have requests for are for our gas cards, rent assistance, paying consumers energy bills, electricity, food. When a person calls, if there's a volunteer at the desk, the volunteer will take the message and usually start with me as the office manager to source the issue out. I just can't imagine if that fund was not there how many people would be affected. By golly, if somebody needs to get to a treatment, I wanna make sure they're gonna get there and I don't wanna to have to think twice about it. There are so many areas in this community and the lives that we have touched, people just don't even really know. We just need to help each other and this is one way to do it. I'm getting a lot of phone calls for utilities um, rent assistance, um, gas cards uh, to get to work or to a job interview even, and um, a lot of food requests. Food assistance is really important right now. But food assistance, if it's a family of four calling and it's not during, I mean like our food drive just passed that we do once a month, and that food assistance is immediate, that can be 100 to $200 easily for a family and that's just getting bare minimums. Somebody will call the church um, and asking for assistance and we have a pastor discretionary fund that can go specifically to people needing assistance. I'll take the message, I'll get it to Ruth Ann or to Melanie and then they start that process. I will have the person come in, I'll usually call them back and have them come in. Um, we get their information, their driver's license, things like that. We kind of just do a check, quick check. They fill out their need request and we are able to get them a gift card or get it paid directly to utility services or whatever. I can tell you just from answering the phones here that it's very local. These are people who are in need in our community. People who have never needed help before, but need it now, especially since COVID. People out of work, their hours are cut, things like that. I never knew that the need could be this big. And it is concerning to me how many people call just on the one day that I'm here a week and need help. I'm so glad that I'm able to help them you know, and help facilitate that. I mean, it's not coming out of my pocket necessarily. I contribute to the fund, but I know that it is greatly needed. And I know that just with all the people that I've helped in the holidays, that it desperately needs more funds. The thing I want to say the most about the Pastor Discretionary Fund is it allows me to help people. It allows me to give people some hope, it, just as a volunteer here. I'm screening these phone calls and I'm answering these phones of people who are in really places they've never expected to find themselves and are so happy that they actually have a place to call. Even if it's just the, that gas card so they can go to a job interview. You know, it makes all the difference. Um, and you're helping them help themselves. They don't want to be in this position but I'm glad that as a church, we are in the position to give.